Okay, so welcome to the 2017 uh, paper one, question two of the Julius Heard higher level. So if you want to pause this now and just uh, attempt the question, you can restart in a few seconds. Um, if you want to get this set of notes with the screen grab question and the answer on the subsequent page, just give me an email at shanetroy at gmail.com and I'll get it back to you. So this here is a 15D scale question. Okay, so there's lots of different parts here. Uh, parts one and two are marked together. So this kind of question, you won't know what the mark scheme is if you're sitting in the exam itself. But by getting this part correct, say, you get the, even if the next part wrong, you still get the 12 marks or the 15. So significant number of marks going for something that uh, should be pretty uh, basic for us. <clears throat> anyway, question two. Uh, sports shop buys t-shirts for 25 and sells them for 49. Okay. So find the markup for the t-shirts and say their profit as percentage of cost price. So if you know the profit, you take those two numbers away. And then um, percentage of cost price, okay, the cost was 25. Uh, multiply that by 100, you have your markup. So the answer is built in here. So sales price, uh, take away cost price, equals profit. So 49 take away 25 is 24. Then you've got profit over cost price times 100, gives you percentage profit. So it's the 24 over the 25 by 100 gives you a 96% uh, profit. Happy days. So part two then, find the margin for the t-shirts. That means profit as a percentage of selling price. Okay. So give your answer correct nearest percent. Now the answer there, so you see there's just a slight different formula here. It's profit not over cost price, it's profit over sales price times 100. So we know both those figures, 24 divided by 49 times 100 gives you a 48.9%. Round that to nearest percent. The nine's what matters, that's squared in five. The next digit goes up by one, you made up a 49%. So that's question uh, one part, sorry, part two. Now part B here, or five marks, is the last part of the question. The shop also sells runners at a markup of 50%. Find the margin for these runners. So again, that's the um, sales price over the, um, so the profit of the sales price. Now, let's do the answer here. So you have a markup here of 50%. So that's the same thing as 50 over 100, which is the same thing as 0.5, just making that clear. Don't really need to write it down. So 0.5, B equals to the profit over the, divided by the cost. Okay, so this is what margin is. <clears throat> the 0.5 times cost gives you the profit. Just moving the stuff around here. Okay, so cost times 0.5 gives you this statement here. Now our selling price is the cost plus profit. Okay, now a way, of, a way of referring to that would be uh, your cost, call it C, your profit is 0.5 times C, so we've established that here already. Okay, now this is a tricky question. Uh, so you end up with 1.5 times C. So you have two variables, selling price and 1.5 times the cost. And we're trying to figure out what that um, margin is. Now to keep going, so we, we've established this, this idea here that your margin is your profit over your selling price. Now, See, but if you were stuck, and this question is hard, if you just written that down from the last thing and put something in, okay, you get uh, something relevant, you get the low partial. So a tricky question like this, and I remember when I was making this up, it took me a while to copy myself. So if I'm trying to explain these two statements, okay, I've worked out the uh, margin, okay, it was 0.5 times the, of, the, of the cost, okay, um, the, the, sorry, the profit, okay, so if, if that's what we worked out back here. We worked out the selling price was 1.5 times the cost. Okay, we worked it out back here. So your margin is those two figures divided into each other. Okay, I end up, the C's cancel, uh, you get 0.5 over 1.5, which if you convert that to a decimal or a fraction, that's the same thing as a third. Okay, um, so my margin is a third multiplied by 100. Okay, so I get my other percentage. And I end up with the 33.33%, round that to the nearest percent, is 3 is less than 5, so the 23 stays the same, and 33%. Now, I would just going back over that, okay, my explanation might not have been the best. It is fairly tricky, um, just to understand what these different concepts are, uh, especially in the situation of an exam. I think that's the end of this. Let's stay under question 2, okay, and I'll stop there and see you on the question 3.